Hello, uh, welcome all. Uh, my name is Suman from Group Plus. So the module we are discussing about uh, statistics and EDA. So in this module, we have been gone through uh, various kind of techniques in a descriptive statistics. We understand about the very basics along with uh, you know variables, type of variables, and uh, the scaling and then information. So I just recap uh, the shape in this that we have been gone through uh, this thing. So like array quartiles or quartiles, we can call as any then. So these quartiles will explain the data or numerical data, how they are distributed. For example, in this case, we can say evenly distributed. Why? Because if you see the numbers 1, 3, 5, 8, 9. So the lowest is one, highest is ten. Uh, 10. But the value which is saying, the value which is saying, you know, uh, three five eight is different compared with four five six. So you can see this is a simple example. Three five eight is different compared with like four five six. And what we understand, you know, four five six very near. You can see, of course, it is very small. But for example, we can say. 3, 5, 6 uh, might be 2 changes here, you can see, and it uh, might be 3 changes. So that is why it is evenly distributed. Means what? The data will be look like, you know, uh, like this. The chart will be look like, you know, this, this value. Second thing, in the same way, 4, 5, 6. So the data will be look like this value, same way, but it will be close more to, you know, uh, towards near like this. So that is this is your called 4, 5, 6. Now what is skewed left? Okay. Now skewed left indicates so if you look at here 1, 2, 3 and it's going into uh, like this. You, know, you can say these, these are very less but going forward these are more, more values. Okay. Now skewed to the right. So skewed to the right indicate these are more values and coming back to here the tail is here. So the tail will be, you know, uh, here, and uh, that, that's why these are called uh, uh, six, seven, nine, and these are called one, two, three, uh, three, seven, something like that. Okay, and less value. Okay, so skew to the left and skew to the right. So it's going towards the most of the values. So that is general general assumption, but in mean to say we can say uh, that's what you know uh, general assumption. Like these are just uh, four numbers across what? Across maybe hundred, across maybe thousand, across maybe lakh. Okay, or you can take crores. Take it as a simple example like ages of the people in India 140 crores are there. That is also you can make it as a quarters because those are numbers. But ultimately, you have to know, you know, whether the ages are. Because we know it as a human, or like ages, we know it uh, mostly. It was started with zero and mostly one hundred or one twenty. That's nice. So what we understand, for example, if we got evenly distributed, what happened? See, a uh, few people are okay. Uh, they are very young age, uh, before thirty or below twenty five. Uh, but most of the people are in between twenty five, thirty to something like you know sixty, seventy. And very least people are there now uh, currently. I mean, you know, this year or we can take maybe thousand years. So three people are there. That is what evenly distributed. But what is most value? Uh, most values closer to the you know center. Like center is we know it a fifty years center. Let's understand fifty years, fifty or sixty. <clears throat> now most of the people most of the people in the sense like you know 40 to 50 or 50 to 60 or 70 and those people are more compared with you know rest of the people like either senior citizens or either might be kids or young age or adults these are very less what is skewed to the left skewed to the left indicate what you know most of the people are above age above average or we can say more more uh, count will be goes forward towards the you know a hundred towards the seventies towards the 
you know, 80, 90, like that. Skew to the right indicate <coughs> that one, skew to the right. So skew to the right indicate the tail is the right side. So most of the people are in a young age. So that's what, you know, 124 of people, it's a simply telling of four numbers. Okay. So that's what uh, data, uh, that's what statistics. Now, coming back to, you know, is that only example, say similar example, here, here I explained, box plot is there. So either you can take same box plot, it will, it will give here. So it's not the uh, same thing. So in this case, first quartile is there. First quartile is this value. You can see, so first quartile is this value. Okay. So this is also called second, so 25th percentile. Second quartile is this value, media. And this is also called second quartile or media. And the third quartile indicates this value. And this is also called 75th percentile. Now what is minimum is? Minimum is this value total. And uh, this is the minimum value. This comes to here. And this is the maximum value. So which comes to here. Okay. Now think in that way. Think in that style. Okay. So now coming back into here graph, it will explain a couple of this. Okay. So the things it explains, for example, take it as a similar way, concept like, you know, this you can start uh, zero or one year and go to something like 100. Now what we understand from this data. I'm taking, for example, zero years and this is my be, let's consider as a 120 years. So, maybe. so <clears throat> So the people are mostly in between, like uh, maybe in between, uh, let's take it as a 50 here, so 50 something here. So median, me, median is not me, mean, okay? So median is not, median is the center of the data. So for center of data, you can take here. Now the question comes to here, you know, it will explain plenty of things. For example, what is potential outage? For example, in these cases, zero to some years, like 15 years, very few people are there, okay? And uh, most of the people started with 30 or something, 30, 35, and goes on like this, okay? And uh, similarly, you know, we do have some 60, 70 people are there. But 100 plus something, very few people are there. 100 plus maybe 112 or maybe 110 or something like this. So very few. So these are outlets. In this case, these are outlets. In this case, these are lower outlets. These are upper outlets, okay? So why? Because they are not uh, you know, uh, nearby, you know, uh, uh, standard these values. So that is the mechanism for us. Okay, that is the mechanism general for us. Now how to decide? So that's where they are giving min uh, minimum value in the quartile minus 1.5 times if you have. So first you have to understand quartile three and quartile one. Then you have to deduct. So that name is that if you have that name. That name, if you calculate 1.5 times, so that is a statistical formula. That's a, you know research formula. It's not you know why should we calculate uh, you know multiply 1.5? Why can't we multiply 1.5? See, that's that is from research. Okay, uh, came from the plenty of statistics which work for the decade or maybe centuries. Okay, so that is a formula we are following, and uh, so the question comes to here. Q1 minus 1.5 times square is this value, this value. And Q, Q3, Q3 means this value. Q3 plus 1.5 times I have this value. Now, out of this, if the, uh, uh, like, you uh, know, the values are uh, maximum value, okay? Uh, these are more than this value. So, these values are, like, uh, you know, we can say outliers, okay? <clears throat> so, in these cases, these values, okay? So now comes to here is uh, you can take uh, you know in the similar concepts and we can able to understand you know how these outliers are shaped. Now I mean the same way I, I have been explained skewness and the kurtosis. This is also same thing, but as a graphically as a numerically it will explain a couple of things. Now whatever I draw it same thing I have uh, you know make it as a chart here that uh, attachment and uh, uh, like a diagram. So in these cases we can say positive. Means what? If your skewness, if you uh, if you, uh, your skewness uh, starts or skewness numbers are positive, then we can understand okay the tail might be right side. Okay, 
now if your screen is negative then the tail goes to left side and if your screen is zero or near by zero even though you can consider statistics in that way it's not exactly it's not uh, you know uh, this pixel statistics we have to assumption and uh, according to you know the data that's what statistics entirely now near by zero or zero we can consider it okay these are you know a distributed like this the same works for the kurtosis so in the kurtosis perspective we can say uh height decides you know how flat it is and how wet it is so that expects uh, expects uh, you know a value of kurtosis so in this case generally we can assume like three so that's also research kind of thing and we have to know it now the question comes to here is I can uh, you know I have to we have to understand so when to use mean when to use median when to use mode that's important even though we learn mean median mode but can we use every value for a mean median mode so the answer is no of course we can use it but the problem is uh, assumption like insights or patterns and uh, you know those things find out is important that's what aip total nominal your data is nominal uh, what i have to look at so i have to look at mode okay for example what is your favorite color if i ask a couple of participants so they randomly can take 50 people now what is favorite color they might say you know, like you know a violet color now violet color they are telling people, uh, couple of people but when you compare with other people, they are telling blue, they are telling, you know, other person red, other person green, other person yellow or purple. Now, most of the people tell they are violet. That's that's what we can say. Okay, this is what means mode. Okay. In this also, bimodal is there, but let's make sure to, you know, figure out only just repeatable, uh, you know, um, uh, duplicated and most people which they are saying, okay or we can say in that way take it a similar other example real life example if i want to tell like uh, some surveys we are getting regularly right so surveys they are giving like uh, can you able to you know judge uh, whatever public offering like uh, maybe it might be some policy release some reverse or some bridges are uh, you know constructed so how can you think that this bridge works will work for the you know a couple of the people okay <clears throat> or something like not only bridge like take it as the education level so how we can think like you know uh, education level is then uh, in 2020 i think india has been changed their previous old level education so which changed into new education standards okay uh, with across the uh, total like uh, high school standard too and uh, total pg and the phd standard they have been changed <clears throat> new educational uh, kind of things is there why they have been changed because that is what you know we have to understand because uh, if you if you go to you know 50 years back 40 years back education is not like right now because we know it uh, digital is there we know it as you know something which has been changed so if you ask them you know uh, a plus b they want you know, they can understand that is needed but in most cases they have to understand other perspective fast environment but not a, speed, a slow kind of thing like uh, whatever we learn early so that is what you know a simple mechanism but we have to write uh, you know that value so which indicate uh, something kind of uh, mean medium mode okay so ordinal is there when you have your data is ordinal in that way, in that cases, I have to go what? Medium. Okay. So why? Because ordinal is there. For example, uh, rating is there something. Uh, for example, a movie release or something. Uh, high rating. What you tell rating. Okay. So somebody might tell, you know, four. Somebody might tell you five out of five. Somebody might be tell one. But ultimately, median is, uh, if you want to look at the center, so we have to look for the median because the order is there okay so for orders i have to look at the median so that makes sense for example some people are telling you know 3.5 most of the people are telling 3.5 or 3.7 or something then i would consider see, movies better we can watch 
one time or something okay but most of the people are telling uh, median is going through you know or something like a two or something so in that cases we have to understand okay this might be either watch or not that's optional okay now this is about ordinal <clears throat> that is about nominal when it comes to ratio or interval and numerical in that cases i have to look at the skewness okay mean and median if the skewness is not skewness you have to look for the mean if some skewness is there you have to look for the median okay so so that is the you know mechanism it follows and a similar way i explain here with the symbolic notation like uh, statistical uh, roman symbols so these are roman kind of symbols and these are general we can able to look at and explain in the uh, lessons or something so this is what uh, skewness cortices and mean median mode and variance now these are theoretical but when it comes to you know practical when i want to understand uh, uh, these things so what i have to do so the first thing already we know mean median mode and sd variance those are standard functions are there you can directly apply <clears throat> on top of it but when you want to go to skewness cortices and separate separate is one thing instead of separate you can go ahead with more further uh, with packages so that will use more information side by so so that, that is a advantage so that is the reason we uh, imported here and we will just ask it here after loading library uh, and i am asking skewness on top of data and i am asking cortices <laughs> these comes from the not direct function these comes according to packages from the package so we got naive to so i have to look at you know uh, what is naive to indicate so like i explain here naive to skewness indicate here the graph is clearly indicate so this towards goes to right okay now that's what and cortices so it's a 2.3 so 2.3 in the sense like it's near by 3 right so 2.3 is less than but slightly here slightly like, like this well so slightly in the sense like it's a just like you know assumption or maybe observation in that way we can consider but it look like a small plateau cortex plateau cortex kind of thing now what we can understand from the data simply i can say skewness might be this and cortices might be this okay for that data for that data may be time data i have taken some time or something but you can take another data like uh, any random numbers then i can make sure to understand you know these values make sense for the uh, understanding similar concept so for that is the reason i gave it here one table so that's uh, available here in your uh, attachment here a data folder so i am just reading that csv file and i can question here this is about titanic data sh uh, ship data so which i explains this is a real world data one thing is but this plenty of people are using okay lots maybe pros of people are using who are in this field so we can just consider the same way we can ask for mean mode and uh, <clears throat> table something like that and medium will get all this information okay so that's what a uh, similar way standard deviation and variance and we will get all the stems now if you want to mix box plot just give it a box plot and we have to give it a numerical variable versus categorical variable okay so this till operate this uh, pipe operator we have to give till operate so that you know it can able to understand and it can figure out whatever the content now instead of if you want to go it a box plot uh, can i take other uh, you know some other data as well and the answer is yes maybe you can take some xyz uh, abc data frame now here you can take some numerical data and here you can take same xyz uh, and here you can take categorical data and you can give it label like this x label okay whatever way and y label so x label y label optional optional in the sense like you know to know it and the color you can give it red or something whatever color we want to go ahead in this cases i give it red but in your cases whatever you can give it we will get it 
So that's one thing. And that five number summary is also there. So it will provide five number summaries. So that's also, you know, make sure to explain. But whatever categorical data, it won't provide the five number summary because it has to be looked for the, uh, you know, uh, minimum value and uh, maximum value at across total. And uh, it's also look for the, uh, what is the, you know, first quarter and third quarter. So for categorical data, it won't work. Okay? So that is the reason for uh, early, I have been told for categorical data, either nominal or ordinal. So we have to look for the vote, either nominal, if it is nominal, we have to look for the mode. But if you look at here, there is no mode is there. If it is ordinal, uh, like we have to look for the uh, median, but is that ordinal, we have to mention, ordinal is indicated here, either we have to go for factor or something, or we have to mention. So that is the, that is the reason, you know, it's not a, you know, it's a total nominal. So total nominal, so that is the reason it won't work. But if you, rest of the things, if you take it, it can make sure to understand. <clears throat> These are the list of the, you know, uh, packages we can to describe uh, the data, okay? For example, this site package is there, HMIS is there, Postex is there, so many uh, similar packages. So these, these values also utilized for the descriptive statistics along with, uh, you know, all this information. Now you can see the same data, Titanic data I have been asked, but what we got it is important. So what we got it here, this columns we got it here. These are all columns. Left side, if you look at, those are column names. Okay. Those are column names and it explains, but what, uh, sorry, those are uh, row, rows labels. You can say rows label. Though column names becomes rows labels, but what columns we got it? Columns are we can take. So these are measurements. What R is giving for us. Okay. This is just column names. And what these indicate, that's what measures of this value, okay? Let's say, for example, we can take simple example. So ages are there, 891, 740, 740 ages is there. If you calculate their mean, you will get this value. Only age, only one column, which I'm telling. But sex is there. Sex is nothing but male or female. But does he get any mean? Answer is no, okay? So we won't get it <clears throat> for me. So that is the reason we are not getting here. So that is, you know, uh, like categorical data, we won't get it, but numerical data, we will get it here. But it will give not only one column, it's gives all the columns, all the digits. For example, any indicate, uh, where's indicate variables, like which column it is presented. Any indicate how many are there without missing values, okay? Means 740, age here indicate remaining or missing values remaining as blanks remaining are blank you can say but it's calculating you know uh, maximum for example you can take age uh, we got 8.0 80.0 so that is the maximum is across 714 people okay but total 891 rows are there okay now this information gives plenty of things right one column, it's explained statistical data across total, and it's also calculating other statistical information like mean, standard deviations, and minimum value, and maximum value. Now it comes to minimum value, like I explained 0 0.42. So we can consider as a four month boy or girl, we don't know, but it might be error something, they are mistake, because it's we are taking raw data. But ultimately, you have to know it, you know, that's what. So, 80 is the maximum age, we can say. And uh, <clears throat> so, that is what, you know, we have to understand here. And this range indicate low, highest minus plus, we can say simple, highest minus plus. And that's, that's about, you know, total. And a similar way, you can work on different, different packages. And you can be able to understand here, clear information. Now, question comes to here is, you know, uh, okay, this is fine for descriptive statistics, but if I want to go ahead with uh, uh, inferential statistics, what I have to go ahead, okay? So that's the mechanism it follows. So for inferential statistics, what I want to give it a simple example, 
like what concepts we have to fo focus on mostly we have to focus on the uh, you know sampling one thing in the similar way we have to provide uh, we have to understand um, by taking a sample what is the goal of uh, you know of going to inferential that's a different and compared with the descriptive statistics descriptive statistics is nothing but we are looking the data and we are finding the values and uh, we are describing the data whereas inferential statistics is nothing but simply we are going with the data and we can able to you know uh, take sample from the population but we want to calculate uh, you know uh, based on the sample we have to calculate the population so for that there are two mechanisms are there uh, one is estimation is there second thing is like uh, uh, distribution is there and other thing is testing is also there okay these are the two mechanisms which we have to focus on okay <clears throat> now comes to here is you know uh, point uh, estimation is there uh, before point, uh, estimation i'll go you know use as a simple sampling and sampling distribution so what is sampling in the case of you know sampling we can understand sampling indicate like you know we are taking a value a couple of values from the uh, group of people across total population suppose you can consider as a average income of people which are there in hyderabad somewhere now what i am asking average income of people in hyderabad means what the hyderabad people may be right now uh, one and a half crore is there or something okay <clears throat> one and a half crore or something or 1.2 people maybe you can take any day any work maybe you can take a simple person like uh, who is working on teacher or who is working as just like you know it person or who is working in government sector or private sector but across total what is the average what is the you know average income so what it explains it explains you know couple of information like uh, average income in the hyderabad we are asking Now, how do I get it? You know, what sort of things I have to do? It, okay. Now, for that, what I have to do it uh, here, I have to take the uh, simply there is package called deep layer. So I want to go to here deep layer. So this is the package. So this is main mean to for data manipulations. Okay. So this to learn about deep layer. So start with the uh, beginner. So they are giving vignette. So you can see, browse vignette package is equal to deep layer. Okay. So that is also there. Yeah. Or you just type it maybe F one. Now also you can get it here. So you can see this is a deep layer, which is there in my, this directly is there in my comp uh, computer in this part. In your computer maybe your computer name, and in the same way here. Now question click on here. Now You can able to see, so you can able to see, uh, you know, uh, that value in the deep layer sense of here. So now you can see, it's giving a documentation. What it's provided? One is a deep layer. Second thing is the title, a grammar of data manipulations. To learn more about deep layer, start with the browse vignettes and deep layer. Let's try it here. So browse vignette, I am taking and just want to. Uh, copy paste here. Let's try it here. <clears throat> I'm loading. Now you can see it gives us couple of you know information in the uh, here. So column wise operations. If you want to do column wise operations, you can click on here and group of data or introduction to deep layer programming with the deep layer row wise operations two table verbs. Using deep layer in package window functions. Okay, so these are the information they are providing in the browse with that function. So let's go to introduction. We'll try to understand. So this is a very introduction, simple, right? So what is giving? 
when working with the you know uh, deep layer like when we were working with the data so we have to figure out what you want to do first and describe those tasks in the form of computer program and execute the program the deep layer package makes these steps fast and easy so by constructing your options it helps you to th think about you know data manipulation challenge and it also provides simple words okay or functions so that corresponds to the most common data ma manipulation stuff so it use efficient backends and this document introduces the plus basic set of tools okay and then it shows how we can apply these kind of frame on top of the data frames okay. okay so that's why it's giving uh, you know this information for example what is star wars okay so what is star wars uh, can i go to you know uh, we'll go to here our studio and we'll make sure to understand here i'll just go to here and type star sorry star wars you can see okay but star wars i'm taking but is the star wars directly available in a uh, data so the answer is no this is available only in the deep layer package so once you load it only you will get it okay so what is giving it's giving simple information like name height of the person mask hair color skin color and go sound like that so just click on here simply star wars and uh, it's giving help and click on here and this is the data okay you want to know simply how many rows how many columns just give it as a dim okay so that it will provide how many rows are there it is seven rows are there 14 columns are there so if you want to look at uh, you know uh, these star wars similar way so you can just view it so that you can see visually in the topmost so i can able to see here name of the person and person height and person mark weight color hair color skin color and eye color body body uh, birth year a sex gender and uh, home world means location and uh, species okay and uh, something like you know films these are the information vehicles and uh, starships so these are various information which uh, provides here so some of the persons like you know humans are there so some different star wars is kind of you know uh, kind of uh, i think uh, game or something but we can see here this values okay so how to get it for example single table verbs i want to get it what is they are giving they are giving first row wise okay so first they are giving row wise and what we understand here so this single table verbs you can see deep layer aims to provide functions for each basic verb for manipulations so these verbs can be organized into three categories okay so based on the component for example you can filter chooses rows based on column values a slice chooses rows based on location arrange changes the you know order of the rows for column values select changes whether or not a column included a rename you can change the column rename and you can also mutate means the columns if you want to create new column and if you want to relocate order of the columns and you can also look at summarize the data now next one is the pipe operator so pipe operator is this pipe operator okay so this pipe operator is uh, generally indicate you know what value it will be goes one by one <coughs> okay it will goes in the sense of like uh, we can make sure to understand uh pipe operator is nothing but sequentially it will go ahead it will move ahead and it can able to you know figure out that value and uh, provide uh, you know that kind of constants okay now let's go back here and we'll make sure to understand so what concept uh, we have to look at further so uh, first we we have to understand the data first okay then we have to you know uh, understand uh, you know uh, the data and along with row wise and uh, column wise okay so that we can see uh, 
you can see uh, what we want to look at any operations. So any operations like uh, filter and uh, something like, you know, or select some columns. So we can go ahead and understand it so that we can able to see it, uh, that value so that we can able to understand here how this works on something like this, okay? So two first values of uh, control shift M, I think uh, we have to use it. I'll just type it here or I'll just go to here. Pipe operator, of course. <laughs> Control shift. Now this is shortcut. Shortcut for pipe operator. So to get to pipe operator, my suggestion is you can press control plus shift plus M. I mean stop. Okay. This is a pipe operator. Of course, it will give error because it's not an uh, you know comment. So let's make it comment here. Hmm. Make it comment. Now I'll explain a couple of examples so that uh, you might understand. So I'll just go to here, uh, you know, introduction, and uh, we'll make sure to understand you know uh, what they are giving. Now filter you can take simple. Now, what is filter is giving? For example, if you look at here, Star Wars we are typing, pipe operator we are typing, or uh, just zoom it here. You can see Star Wars is a data, pipe operator we are using, and we are filtering what skin color only, one column, double equal to light, and eye color double equal to brown. Okay. So what is filter? Filter is according to rows. Okay. According to rows of what? So first this pipe operator works like this. So whatever this value is first you can take data frame. Second value, whatever your operation, third thing. Okay. Whatever you are getting third operation. So that make it a result that make it pipe to third operation. For example, same pipe if you use it here. Now we'll get input of this value. Okay, not this value, this root operator. Now make it one more pipe. We'll get you know uh, this this uh, you know result. Result will be pipe put here. This result will be pipe put here. This result will be pipe put here, and this result will be pipe put here. So like that moves here. Okay, so that is nothing but sequentially one by one it works. Okay, so what I want to do it here simply. I'm just want to copy here simply. I just want to copy. And I want to go to here my you know this value and just move down here. Now you can see what we are doing here. First time we have taken Star Wars data and I'm filtering what skin color. If you look at here, skin color is there now. Skin color. Okay. You are filtering skin color only light. Okay. So let's look at here light so that we can make sure to understand. Just go forward here. You can see this person is light. So his skin color is light. Right? Now eye color is there. There is another column we are taking. Eye color is brown. Okay. So brown is there. For example, this person is also brown. Okay. Now such people are how many? So just forward it and just run it. So okay, what we got is the output here. We can see we got just of seven only. Okay, seven versus forty. Now early, what we understand a dim. Let's type it here dim. Dim of uh, something like you know Star Wars. And I'll uh, getting eighty seven forty now. So out of 87, only seven people are there whose hair color is brown. Uh, okay. And uh, similar way, who's uh, you know, either, either uh, high color is, uh, sorry, skin color and eye color is brown. Okay. So you can see here, clearly indicate here, this box indicate what? 
so this light bro bro light bro and light bro light bro light bro and these people are just how many people those people are seven only so it's a giving table and it indicates seven people across total 14 you know, you know total now you understand how we can make a filter now take it uh, any example such example so we are making uh, for example this is roughly equal into base r code or uh, what is given uh, they are also giving base r code so that you can try to understand so same data frame is there now should i write like this the answer is yes so i have to take star wars i have to give star wars and i have to give and uh, dollar symbol column name and double equal to light and the symbol i have to use it and star wars again i have to write dollar symbol i color i have to write double equal to brown i have to write okay <laughs> so all this length of the things this this can done because when you type star wars it can understand no need to give dollar symbol again it can easily understand okay this color skin color indicate according to star uh, star wars data frame but in the you know uh, here it's clearly we have to type uh, you know couple of times three times we have been typed same thing so that is avoided here okay second thing we are not we don't know what we have to do for example here filter means even normal person can understand for example a person who is not computer programmer he can even understand okay filter is nothing but filtering okay but in this cases you have to know the code base or code okay and here we have to give the and operator so this is somewhat complex somewhat even we know it bare base or but somewhat you know a complexity so that's where make into uh, you know uh, deep layer so it will make it into easy for us to you know make sure now same way similar way you can take star wars but i'm arranging height versus length height comma mass okay so what it is going here so if i go to you know if i able to understand here so i am giving simply one example <clears throat> so what i am arranging height versus mass now when i get it here so what happened here <clears throat> height we got 66 and weight mass we got 70 so that is the lowest okay and 79 and we got 50 and uh, you know 88 we got you know that that value so this indicate it's arranging it's arranging you know a couple of values so according to you know uh, those values which are arranging now the question comes to here is you know uh, use descending also you can also use the descending order for example this is a very simple example we can see but clearly it indicate what it indicate <coughs> a value which we are descending from the height now what is the highest height which is in the 87 people 264 highest height and what is the next height 224 229 goes on goes on like this so we'll get last value which indicate you know uh, lowest very lowest height or if you want to make a same descending also ascending also you can do it so that you are getting into ascending <clears> oh <throat> uh, yes sir okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good okay for arrange right so arrange only as we are looking <clears throat> i think that by default you know, let's say without height uh, without uh, no this thing you can provide yes so they didn't provide anything separate so it's already by default there 
So if you want to make descending, you can give it another function called descending. So 60, this is the very lowest height. You can see it's clearly in the gate and 79 and goes on, goes on like that. Okay. So that is the you know, main mechanism we have to understand how these values are working so that we can able to understand now how this you know information will be provided here. For example, empty cars is there. That's okay, we understood, right? <clears throat> Let's take it empty cars here simply and uh, similar way control shift and I'm taking filter filter I'm using and here I want to use cylinder right cylinder equal to double equal to six something double equal to six and okay. we got six okay on top of this data you can for example cylinder you are taking that's fine and uh, if you want to look at here, 5, 4, 3 is there, here, and uh, 4, 2, 3, card is there, 4, 1, 4, 6, okay. Now, so after this, can I filter, uh, one more uh, control shift I'm asking, and in this case, I'm asking, filter, and here I'm typing card, Cobb equal to uh, something like two is there, na? here, two. Shall I, have, shall I use two? The answer is just try it, two. So what happened here? So there is no row presented. Why? Because this is works on top of the this result, this total result. Means for this, uh, after this pipe, first is this pipe, right? So this pipe, this is the input. Now what do you want to do it with that? Now for this, uh, for this, you know, uh, pipe, so the entire result of this value is output, input. So that is the reason we are going to argue to. Now, let's type here, uh, whatever 4 is there, no? so 4 you can type or 1 you can type. So if you type it 1, because that is there in the sub data, so that you will get it 2, you can see. So that is what pipe. So pipe is nothing but, so the value which left side is input, and whatever the left side is till next uh, last uh, no, uh, that value, so that is the input for that. Now, so we got only this uh, sub this small data, right? So now we can you know arrange after that. So for example, I want to arrange uh, dot something. So control shift I am giving M, and I want to arrange arrange I am giving, and in the arrange I am giving something like uh, dot. Arrange and draw. So, what is the small differences? See. <clears throat> so, if you look at arrange, uh, you know, arrange is the next pipe operator. For this, the entire result is this this set. This entire set is the input for that. Okay. So that is the reason I am arranging. So, dot we are arranging dot right. So it will go to this column called dot. Okay. Since it comes into three first. And the two point seven uh, three point zero eight first two point seven six later, but if you look at here after arranging, we got to two point seven six first three point seven eight last because we are arranging in ascending order, like whatever we early used for Star Wars, similar concept. So that if you understand that concept, then you can make sure to understand how we can work for the data manipulations on top of the deep layer. Okay. So deep layer is nothing but pipe operator. <clears throat> First thing, pipe operator in the left side is input for you the right side of the pipe operator. If you type it multiple pipes, multiple types. So it's nothing but whatever you know the result the uh, overall uh, total left side of the la, uh, right side of the last pipe. That entire left side total is the output should be. To the input to the next you know uh, value of uh, that pipe okay so that is the mechanism it follows okay so once you understand this pipe uh, you know uh, and operations then you can make sure to understand how these things will, you know will works for the uh, rest of the you know things okay so here arranging we understand in a similar way <coughs> choose rows uh, using their position what is slice 
slice, you know, you, can, you have to choose rows with uh, something. For example, slice lets you index rows by their integer location. It allows you to select, remove, and duplicate rows. So we can get characters from row numbers 5 through 10. Okay. For example, you can take Star Wars simple. Star Wars, I'm taking simple. And I'm just giving first Star Wars this data. Okay. And uh, what this person is doing here, you know what this the document is saying. Slice 5 to 10, we are typing, right? So just copy it here and just uh, do it in our studio. Uh, what we get it here? Slice 5 to 10, I am asking. What happened? Let's see. Now, what we got it here? If you observe here, <clears throat> so if you observe here, so what are the fifth person? This person and till 10th person. So that is only we got it here. We can see. So this fifth person, sorry, this fifth person, fifth person is the first. It it value this value it's omitted this thing. These things are omitted. These things are omitted. So that is what slice. Slice indicate what? You can give the row number something to row number something. I have to provide that value. Okay. So that is what you know operations which goes in. So this is also similar in base or also you can do it. But you know uh, more than that one package is you know working on couple of things. Okay. Slice head slide tail is also there. That is also possible. You can utilize even filter it. Okay. Slice head slice uh, you know or something like you know tail. Now when I give it you know a slice head here, you know, what happened? Uh, you can give the internal number. Rather than you know, like uh, rather than something number to something, so you can give it uh, here okay, three. Now, if you go to Star Wars, okay, so it simply gives uh, you know, first to three only. We got it here, first to three only. We got it, but rest of the thing we are not getting, okay. So, that that is the you know, mechanism it follows generally, and the slide sample is also there. Sample is sample, like how many you need it, how many values you want to go ahead and uh, randomly, randomly sample and you get that is also there. So I just type it here. So this is a random values. Okay. Means if I look at Star Wars only, so if I look at a Star Wars only and uh, you won't get, you know, um, values, but uh, I mean, you are getting whatever the data frame which is already there. Okay. But uh, in slice sample n is equal to 5, somewhere it will look, maybe chat uh, Cisco is somewhere or somewhere, some location out of 87, right? Okay. So that, that's a mechanism it follows, okay? So, you know, we have to understand first how to filter and how to, you know, make you sure to provide like slicing and uh, these are all things. So once you know it, pipe operator, once you know it, you know how to select and how to you know get into understand. Then we have, we can practice in the next uh, concept about uh, what what is the general mechanism it follows. Okay. <clears throat> now what we'll do? Uh, just take it a similar example. And, and uh, what I want to create here uh, simply uh, for our sake of uh, data. So I mean, or uh, to explain that context I have been taken. So that uh, you might understand, okay, this this is what you know we can able to do, right? Now take it that context, and I want to create one kind of uh, things like you know a sampling. So for sampling only, I want to explain all these terms, okay? <clears throat> so for hypothetical distribution, we can take it so that we can make sure to understand for uh, simply sampling distribution, so that we can make sure to understand. Uh, like I explained earlier, if you remember, some age, age of the age, not sorry, income, income in some year, something. Okay. Now, if I want to, you know, look at here, what I have to do it first, uh, <clears throat> I have to type it simply. Dplyr already loaded. You know? So, first thing is, I just type it again. Library and dplyr, I'm typing. This is first value. And just shift enter in the console. So that uh, you know it will be stay there. 
shift enter marker that is it now next option is uh, have to create something like generate some so in this case what i want to generate here generate some hypothetical some hypothetical population data mm, sorry population data that is that should be income in rupees indian rupees i am just typing now shift enter so here what i want to give first set dot seed what is set dot seed set dot seed indicate like uh, whatever i am typing will get same random values there okay let's take it is you know 1 to 10 people 1 to 10 numbers are there so can you pick up if i ask one person can you pick up three he might pick up any three maybe in nine he can pick up because i'm giving ten nine he can he might pick up and five he might pick up and six might he might be pick up okay now second person uh, second time uh, second time if the person is uh, you know uh, other person uh, for example he is asking you know can you tell me what is the you know uh, you are picking okay five three or maybe seven can you tell me what is the maximum or can you tell me add it what is five three seven obviously 15 right out of 10 i am giving a person to pick up three okay out of her out of 10 he he is might pick five seven three so only one value lets me ask and five seven three and five seven three indicate 15. now other person if i ask or maybe same person tomorrow if I, he will come it okay and uh, he might uh, change it uh, he might ask again he might pick up other three because one to ten there are plenty of numbers are there so he might pick up so nine he might pick up five he might pick up you know or uh, something like uh, two now uh, if i if he add it what he will get he will get different number because here five three seven but there some two and some other number but whatever early person who is pick up five seven three that value if you want to get it other person as well then we have to go give set dot c and some number okay that number again you can type then then they you will get the same number okay so that is the you know mechanism like uh, sample is there providing sampling is nothing but any value we can pick up first value uh, randomly but while picking randomly if you want to get that random again and again same set then we have to give set dot set some number some unique number so with that number if you run it again and again you will get the same number same uh, sample values so that is the mechanism you know it follows so even uh, not only python in our languages also we do have right so that that's uh, we have to use it like uh, similar concept and we have to use it their concept okay but here we have to np dot c uh, cd is there something like in a random np dot uh, you know random value square get numpy or something that is the mechanism it follows similar concept but we have here we have to provide what value we want to take now that's okay we are going to be taking the we are going to generate post now in this case what i want to provide here i want to give it population simple so population i want to provide here simple one population let's say <coughs> population okay i'm taking population and in this population what i want to take it simply data dot frame because we know it a data dot frame and in this data dot frame i want to give it some column called income income column and here income column i want to create random normal distribution or normal okay, random normal distribution here i want to take it something like ten thousand okay and here i want to give it uh, something like mean uh, mean in kit like uh, fifty thousand okay fifty thousand <coughs> And SD indicate standard deviation indicate. So we have to give standard deviation 
and I have to provide a uh, fifteen thousand something. Fifteen thousand, right? Now I am taking simply a uh, random normal distribution from the ten thousand values, and can okay, you know, pick up with mean and standard deviation this value? So that is what population which we are storing. Okay. Now <clears throat> this is only population. Now take a random from uh, you know this value. Take a random. Okay. Take a random sample of let's say sample of hundred uh, individuals. Okay, and question is now population is uh, if you could look at population here, so we'll get it here that frame. But if you look at population, so you can see these many. Okay, so these many people are still nine thousand omitted, but. Still, we can see these are nine thousand plus three thousand, ten thousand people. Their salary, which I generated, their salary. These are all income. Okay. Now we can take population. Okay. And uh, already I, you know, I just make it here. Uh, control shift M and uh, slice. Head is there, no? Slice head. I just want to give it maybe five people. Okay, slice head right. Slice head only. You have to give n, I think. Slice sample we can give it. N equal to. So we have to give n n variable. We have to give it. Now you can see five people income I am getting. Okay, this is a five people income. Of course, early we have been written right only, but some values we have to provide with the argument. N equal to five, so that it can understand. Now one to five people, their income I am provided. Some person, first person, forty one thousand five ninety two income. Second person, forty six thousand five forty seven. Third person, seventy three thousand something nine. Okay. So this is total population, but <clears throat> this is total population. But I just want to create a sample, and I just want to take out uh, some sample data, so that I can make sure to understand here. So for this, I just want to get a sample underscore data, and I want to give it here, and I want to provide simply sample in sample underscore in sample underscore in. So this is a function which will take population population, okay, and uh, you can ask any people. For example, I want to take hundred people out of total population, and Now we can calculate their mean and their average. Okay, so their mean and their average. Now we can look at uh, here. Just uh, so take it as this mean and this average. So for example, let's say sample I am taking and mean I am typing, and here I am asking what is my uh, I am asking mean I am asking mean of what this values mean of Sample underscore data, okay. and similarly, I am questioning sample underscore <clears throat> standard deviation. Let's say mm, you can take similar manner, but you have to take it is the standard deviations. Uh, is the indicate standard deviations, and here we know it is the already, and same sample. I want to take it uh, data, not data, not uh, data only sample data. Now I want to print it here. Those both, okay. So I have to print. Maybe I have to print both values. Uh, print, and I have to take it as sample mean. This value, and shift, and I have to print. Then after I have to take it simply sample is D, okay. That is what sampling, okay. So that mechanism is generally indicate a sampling. So what we have done here, simply sampling, taking, and I just want to filter. Okay.
is an object cannot be coerced with the double. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here we have to take one step forward because sample data is not, not like you know one value which contains two columns. You can see. So that is the reason you are not getting. So only change here sample data dollar symbol income and the sample data dollar symbol income now this time we will get it now what we got it here 49,640 and 13,850 but if you look at here uh, while creating my data so what I have give it here so you can see this value which I give so mean is 50,000 which I give it standard deviation 15,000 I give it so if you look at here, so whatever sample we are getting nearby 50,000, here we can see standard deviation is also nearby 50,000. Maybe some changes are there, but that is what you know we can make sure to answer. Okay. Out of a thousand people, out of thousand people, a person is picking just hundred people randomly. Okay. But that that random will be generate and it will explain this information. Okay. So that is what sampling mechanism. Okay. Now you can try in other way as well. Or for example, next time if you try it, so we'll just go ahead here, similar concept in the same mechanism, and you can for find out this value. Mm, this value again. So this time it's not the same sample because I'm not using seed. I'm using only sample side uh, seed. I'm using only for the population. But not for the sample. Now this time you will get different different you know income. I can see this time you will get different income. This time you will get different income, different ASD. This time you will get different income and different ASD. But if you look at you know whatever we created across total, uh, you know whatever we are giving uh, something like you know values which mean and uh, whatever we are giving this is sample data which I give red dot C to know it. Okay. <clears throat> That's what population total, but across total population, what we are picking a few people total information, and that can we can make sure to understand you know 10,000 rows, 9,000 plus one, right? 10,000, not 1,000. 10,000 people data we are taking, 10,000 people population we are taking, for example, Hyderabad people 10,000. Let's assume in that concept. Context. Now I'm picking up sample now. That sample will explain 49,000, 47,000, something. Then I can make sure to understand, okay, this might be 46 to something, 40, 55 or something average. Okay. Because 10,000 there, you are picking just 100. Okay. 10,000 there, and we are picking just 100. Now, that is what sampling. Okay. So we are taking a sample from the population and we are calculating population uh, sample data. And we are estimating or we are understanding population's information. Okay. So that's about sampling and uh, you know sampling techniques. Okay. Now we will move forward more than that one and we can make sure to understand you know other concepts like uh, which I explained estimation, point by estimation, and interval estimation and testing. So these are the rest of our topics in the uh, in this module. So with that uh, you know concept, we'll close this module and we'll enter into next model and we'll make sure to understand cover uh, next model topics in the uh, other uh, you know session so that's the only rest of the things and uh, i'm not entered into notebook but you can make sure to understand but while you know picking up anything so visualization is also matter so this is for help material to understand further and if you want to learn further so that you can move forward okay so that's about total session and we'll continue with the next session with the same module. Maybe in the next one or two session, we'll close this sixth module and we'll enter with the seventh module, the next uh, step forward. Okay. So that's about and uh, thank you very much and thanks for watching all the sessions. So we'll meet in next session.